In this video, I would like to show you something that I believe you've never ever seen before, which is how you can find some hidden information about a Facebook user. Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Saad from CyberSudo. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you are not subscribed yet. I have many awesome videos on how you can gather information about people just by using the publicly available information. So make sure to subscribe to see all the previous content and all the future content and let's get started. So in this video, I would like to focus on some methods and techniques that you can use to get some information, some of the hidden information about any Facebook user. And the older the account, the better result and information you'll get about the person account. Please keep in mind that this video is only for educational purposes. We are not doing any magic to get the, this information. These are all publicly available information. So if YouTube is watching this video and wanted to delete this video, I'm just telling you that these are all publicly available information and we're not doing any magic to get this information. So let's get started. So this is the first example that we are going to look at. We can see it's a very basic, normal Facebook profile. He has a profile picture, background picture. His name is Hamza Max. We can scroll down and see that he works at Marrakesh and he went to this university and I believe he worked here as well. Now, the thing that I would like you to focus on is the URL because the URL has sometimes some information that we might need. For example, if we looked at the URL, we see that it's not Hamza Max and it's not even similar to this name. It's not like Hamza Max 123, etc. It's actually completely different and it's called Yasmin Dochatib. So I believe that this person has changed his display name to make it Hamza Max, but it was previously Yasmin Shatib and not Hamza Max. So we might get an ID who is behind this account. The second thing that you are going to learn in this video is how you can find the old comments that the person has commented on various posts on Facebook. Now, if a person doesn't comment at all, then you'll obviously not find anything. But if a person comments all the time or they maybe mention other people then you might be able to find their information in the web in the deep web once once you use some google dorks and i've already made a video about google dorks and i'll put its link in the description or you might find it right here or right here i don't know so let's see how we can do this so here we have a profile and this person post like from time to time they post their pictures and their adventures and his name is chase rosso and if we looked at the url you can see it's chase rosso dot one so it's a very normal name unlike what we have seen before so what if we want to find this person's old comments so what we can do is use google dorks so to do this all you have to do is just to copy this person's name full name and then go to Google and enter or type the following Google Dork. So here it is. We are telling Google to search only in facebook.com and we're looking for this name, maybe in the URL, maybe in the text, etc. And we are telling Google to show us the text posts in the URL. So I'm gonna hit enter. And you can see that we have six search results. Now, these are obviously not all the comments, but these are the comments that were indexed by Google. And that's why, or what this is what we are doing here. So right now I'm going to open all of the links. And now if we went right here, we can see that we have some people commenting on this post. And in my case, I'm gonna search for Chase Rosso, as you can see. This is his comment and this was three years ago and this is the comment that he posted on this post. So we can also go here. This is the second link. If we scroll down a little bit, we can see that this person has actually mentioned Chase Rosso and he's telling him that's our transporter. 
So we can obviously open the video and see the transporter. And if we were able to get the license plate number, then we can do an OSINT search to see whether we can find the owner name for this license plate, etc. But this is a completely different video. And we can see here that Chase Rosso were mentioned, but I think they mean a different Chase Rosso. We can also see here that Chase Rosso with the URL, we can obviously open the URL and check this later. And this is the very similar post to the one that we have seen it right here. And the last thing that I would like to show you is how we can find if Facebook's users mentions like if, for example, your friend mentioned you in a picture or in a post, then you will be able to see these pictures. Maybe these pictures were in a different country, in a place that will help you to identify the location, etc. We'll come back to our example. It's Chase Rosso. Now keep in mind that these are all publicly available information and everybody's aware that these are public. So what we can do is just copy the full name and put it in here, search for it. And then what you can do is go to post and here you will see obviously Chase Rosso's post. This, this is what he posts like, uh, like in this year, these are the photos with his friends or family, etc. And what you can do is go to date posted and check every date. In my example, like if we went to 2014, you're going to see Chase Rosso with his family, with his pictures, and not all the information are, are accurate here or posted or mentioned to or by Chase Rosso. But if you keep digging, like went to other years like this one, then you will be able to find some more information just like the one in here. So you can see that I believe this is his friend and he also mentioned Chase Rosso as you can see here and they were all in a car and they were in this place. Now you can obviously just do a reverse image search to see where they were, etc. Now if you're still watching until now, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to see more unique content on the channel and thank you for supporting me and doing likes, comment, I will never forget this and I will always do my best to provide and publish the best high quality content on this channel. So thank you so much and I'll see you soon.